All right, so the first one I'm doing is stroke to the lower extremity. Um, so what I am doing with this is I am getting the patient used to the sensation in my hands and I'm getting used to the feeling of the tissues underneath. And then it's also promoting relaxation by stimulating the nervous system, the peripheral nervous system, um, by causing vasodilation, which is gonna help decrease heart rate and blood pressure. An indication for this is acute or chronic pain or muscle spasm. I am gonna do slow strokes for about one to two minutes. I'm doing slow strokes to, to produce sedation effects to get that relaxation we want in his body. And I'm always gonna have at least one hand on him at all times. Okay, the next one I had was ethorage to his anterior aspect of the lower extremity. So I'm gonna start from the ankle and work my way up. So we're gonna move at seven inches per second to the closest lymphatic shed, which is the knee. And then I'm gonna pause to let it drain. And then I'm gonna start with the other hand, always making sure one hand on it at a time. An indication for this is chronic um, edema. So the rationale is that by doing this, we are stimulating lymphatic flow to the nearest lymphatic shed, which is in the knee, resulting in uh, elimination of waste buildup in the interstitial spaces. The increased venous flow that will be. Another outcome of this is going to allow for relief in the congestion of the capillaries, allowing for blood flow and lymphatic flow to move more freely in and out of the capillary beds. So this is going to facilitate healing by bringing in fresh blood and nutrients. So now we're gonna work this way. We're going down to the medial area for the closest lymphatic shed and pausing, always keeping one hand again at seven inches per second. I can do it with two hands to promote that lymphatic flow, pause, and then come back with stroking. So we're gonna do this for about three to five minutes. All right, so don't turn it off, but just block the camera. All right, you ready for everything? The next one that we're going to do is uh, thumb pad kneading to his IT band. So that the insertion of the IT band is the lateral condyle of the tibia and the origin is the anterior lateral iliac tubercle on the iliac crest. So I'm just going to find the IT band and then I'm going to do some thumb pad kneading. An indication for this would be chronic pain. So my rationale is the gate barrier for pain. So the non-noxious stimuli from my thumb, from my hand, is going to beat the noxious painful stimuli being delivered via A delta and C fibers. It's gonna block the signal at the spinal cord. So the painful stimuli doesn't even reach the brain, which will hopefully decrease the patient's pain. So again, we're just working our way down the IT band in slow circular movements for about three to five minutes and avoiding too much pressure from the thumbs, just enough to help with the decreased painful stimulation. And that's it.